Hey everybody, welcome back to another science short with the Rapid City Public Library. I am Carrie, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, and today we are going to be talking about bubbles. But Carrie, we've already talked about bubbles. We've talked about them twice, as a matter of fact. Yes, but today we're going to take it in a new direction. We are going to talk about tensile bubbles, something we haven't seen yet. We're going to start out with some bubble solution, and ours right here is just made out of dish soap and water. We've put it in this pitcher because we need it to be kind of deep, because we're basically going to be dipping our bubble wands, which we have made out of pipe cleaners and straws to look like 3D objects. We're going to be dipping them in. So this one you can see is a pyramid, or if you want to be super fancy, a tetrahedron and we are going to dip it right into our bubble solution. And what's gonna happen is when it comes out, instead of the flat shape we usually see in a normal bubble wand, we are going to see what's called an inverted pyramid shape, a tensile bubble. So you can see how the bubble solution has kind of all met in the middle to make this inverted pyramid. We're gonna try the same thing with a cube and see what happens. Now normally when we have a bubble, it's spherical, right? And the reason for that is scientific too. A bubble is basically just air wrapped in soap, kind of like a sandwich, two layers of soap molecules and between those, a layer of water. And once it leaves the bubble wand, universal law of science says, it's going to take up the least amount of surface area. And the geometric form with the least amount of surface area is a sphere. And we are messing around with that here. We are changing it. Instead of letting universal laws determine the shape of our bubble, we are making sure that that soapy solution is stretching between the rigid edges of the wand that we've created in a 3D shape. And as you can see here, it ends up with some crazy geometric structures. The inverted bubbles have the coolest shapes and the coolest lines. We're going to try an even larger triangle here and see if we can see it even better. Bubbles are always delicate, but tensile structures like we're creating are even more delicate because they are not suitable for carrying loads, and that can even mean just the weight of the structure that, that we're turning it into. There we go. You can see a really good look at that inverted pyramid. Very cool. Oh, see, and as it can't hold its own weight, the bubble pops. We'll do it one more time here. If you wanted to try this at home, as I've said, the dish soap and water will give you your bubble solution. And if you look up um, bubble cube wand or tensile bubbles on the internet, it will show you how to create these wands and you could even try some of your own as well. Thanks for following along. I hope that was somewhat enjoyable for your third trip around with bubbles. And I hope to see you back next week for another science short.